Here is a quick and easy way to make things pop uh, using GIMP 2.8. I've selected a uh, an image from Google Image Search and I turned it into a black and white line drawing uh, as you can see here. And what we're going to do is just make a selection of all the white areas inside of the character and then fill it with a gradient, round off the gradient, blur it up a little bit, and import it into our uh, 3D viewer. So, first thing you want to do is create a new layer with the background color of white. We'll turn that off for now and select the bottom layer. And then using the select by color tool in the toolbox over here, we will select all the white by clicking on the white. And um, we want to have all the in inside areas selected without the outside area. So let's go and choose the fuzzy selection tool. Hold down the control key and click the background. And that will unselect the background white. And um, if we shift Q over into quick mask mode, we'll notice that only the inside areas are selected. Shift Q to exit. And then use the blend tool um, with a foreground color of black, background color of white. And then in the gradient, we want foreground to background RGB. And then from the shape, we want to choose shaped angular and then just slip, um, click and drag anywhere on the canvas and it will fill the selection area with the blend you can do uh, as many selected areas as you want all at once so you can make quick work of popping things out Okay, so you see it's filled in the areas. It looks kind of jagged and whatnot, but uh, after we're done, we'll fix that up. Now you want to um, go to the Curves menu to make this gradient rounded towards the edges. GIMP has a shortcut, Alternate C, and then C to get to the Curves menu. Now the curves menu is upside down when we're working with black as a foreground color and white as the background color. So we have to make a, a curve curving down towards the bottom. And you just click and make nodes. I usually make three nodes to get a nice clear curve on there. And as you can see on the canvas, it's actually making it darker and rounded closer to the edges. And then <coughs> what you want to do after that is, with, while you still have the selection, you want to do a Gaussian blur. And I usually do a Gaussian blur horizontal and vertical of 12. And that really smooths things out quite a bit and that's about it now if we select the whole canvas control a then control shift c to copy and then alternate tab to tab over to our 3d viewer and then We'll take a look at this in 3D. And that's what it looks like in 3D. You see you can get real nice smooth blurs 
or blends. Now the thicker parts of the objects will actually be higher in depth than the smaller type areas. So this filling with a uh, angular gradient and really gives you a nice looking um, rounded height map image. And that's all there is to it.